We are starting with that dramatic situation happening as we speak in both LA and Miami Beach at the homes of Sean Diddy Combs. You know him as Diddy, formerly Puff Daddy, big time rapper, big time producer, big time superstar, and now the feds at his houses in both locations. This is a live look right now. On the left, that's West Coast, that's LA. On the right, that's Miami Beach you're looking at. The tension in the air was palpable as law enforcement encircled Diddy's residence, setting the stage for a dramatic sequence of events. Captured footage revealed a scene of chaos. A group of men, later identified as Diddy's sons, Justin and King, detained and visibly anxious outside the mansion. The involvement of Diddy's own family added a poignant layer to the unfolding drama. Spearheaded by Homeland Security, this raid wasn't just procedural, it was a glaring signal of the investigation's severity. Homeland Security Investigations, HSI, renowned for its crackdown on global criminal enterprises, took the lead, underscoring the gravity of the accusations. The Southern District of New York, known for its prosecutorial rigor, is at the helm, indicating Diddy's potentially perilous legal situation, as pointed out by former federal prosecutor Nima Rahmani. The investigation's depth will be gauged through evidence from Diddy's properties and the narratives of the accusers. Testimonies from four Jane Does and one John Doe, alongside any additional witnesses, are pivotal in assessing the case's robustness against Diddy. This investigation marks a watershed moment in Diddy's life and career, with repercussions already manifesting. The allegations have prompted Diddy to relinquish his chairman role at Revolt TV and cut ties with numerous entities. Should the collected evidence bolster the accusations, Diddy faces significant legal jeopardy. The Southern District of New York's relentless pursuit of justice places Diddy in an increasingly precarious position, as Rahmani has noted. Interestingly, Diddy was in Florida, eyeing a Caribbean getaway, when the raid occurred. Swiftly, officials secured his phones, eliminating any risk of evidence tampering. As authorities meticulously scoured the luxurious estate for evidence, the raid underscored the entertainment industry's ongoing battle with exploitation and misconduct. This case, amid the Me Too movement spotlight on sexual misconduct, highlights the urgent need to confront such issues decisively. The involvement of HSI signals a committed crackdown on human trafficking, emphasizing that no individual, regardless of their status, is beyond legal reproach. 50 Cent, always keen to comment, quickly responded to the raid news, highlighting the gravity of the situation and igniting public discourse on its implications. Diddy's ascent from the tough streets of Harlem to stardom is a narrative of resilience and musical passion. His early recognition of music as his calling led him to significant industry opportunities, eventually culminating in the founding of Bad Boy Records. This venture not only launched his career but also shaped the soundscape of 90s R&B and hip-hop, introducing the world to icons like the notorious B.I.G. with the release of No Way Out. Diddy not only solidified his artistic prowess but also established Bad Boy Records as a music industry titan. This album, a commercial and critical triumph earned him three Grammy Awards, cementing his legacy in music. However, Diddy's illustrious career now faces a formidable challenge as he navigates through allegations that threaten to overshadow his achievements. Now to 11, music mogul Sean Diddy Combs is nowhere to be seen. Private security guards at the gates of his Star Island home after it was raided by Homeland Security earlier this week. Jaguar Wright has allegedly exposed the shocking truth behind the law enforcement activity at the residences of renowned musician and producer Sean Diddy Combs, with reports suggesting its connection to an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. Sean Diddy Combs made headlines when he was spotted at a Miami airport shortly after his two homes were raided by Homeland Security. The raid were reportedly part of a federal sex trafficking investigation. TMZ managed to get their hands on video footage of the event, which took place around 3 p.m. Pacific time on Monday, March 25th at the Miami Opa Locker Executive Airport in the clip. Diddy is seen pacing outside a customs office, indicating a sense of urgency or concern. The allegations. Reports suggest that Diddy and his entourage were stopped at the airport, possibly while boarding a private jet, when Homeland Security officials intervened. This unexpected turn of events injected drama into what would have otherwise been a routine team travel day for the music mogul. Sources within law enforcement indicate that these actions are part of a broader investigation into certain activities, although specifics regarding Combs' involvement remain undisclosed due to the sensitive nature of the case. Confirming the presence of law enforcement at Combs' homes in Miami and Los Angeles, the Department of Homeland Security Investigations, New York, stated that these actions were carried out as part of an ongoing investigation. The reaction to it online has been crazy. Jaguar Wright had also previously called this we already know. Reports suggest that did 
Diddy and his entourage were stopped at the airport, possibly while boarding a private jet, when Homeland Security officials intervened. This unexpected turn of events injected drama into what would have otherwise been a routine travel day for the music mogul. Sources within law enforcement indicate that these actions are part of a broader investigation into certain activities, although specifics regarding Combs' involvement remain undisclosed due to the sensitive nature of the case. Confirming the presence of law enforcement at Combs' homes in Miami and Los Angeles, the Department of Homeland Security Investigations, New York, stated that these actions were carried out as part of an ongoing investigation. The reaction to it online has been crazy. Jaguar Wright had also previously called this we already know, being vehemently denied by the music mogul the woman who made the allegations, now in her 30s, has officially contested the claims made by the 54-year-old artist, who hails from Harlem. Until about six months ago, Joan Deal had been outspoken about the issue. Who is P. Diddy? Sean Love Combs, born on November 4, 1969, also known by his stage names Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, or Diddy, is an American rapper, record producer and record executive. Born in Harlem and raised in Mount Vernon, New York, Combs worked as a talent director at Uptown Records before founding his own record label, Bad Boy Records, in 1993. Combs has been credited with the discovery and cultivation of artists such as the notorious B.I.G., Mary J. Blige, and Usher. As a recording artist, Combs gained mainstream recognition as the notorious B.I.G.'s label boss and manager. Released in the wake and memory of his unsolved murder, Combs's debut studio album, No Way Out, 1997, was met with critical acclaim, peaked atop the Billboard 200 and received septuple platinum certification by the Recording Industry Association of America, RIA. Its two preceding singles, Can't Nobody Hold Me Down, featuring Maze, and I'll Be Missing You, featuring Faith Evans and 112, both peaked the Billboard Hot 100. The latter became the first hip-hop song to debut atop the chart. His second and third albums, Forever, 1999, and The Saga Continues, 2001, both peaked at number two on the Billboard 200 despite mixed critical reception, while his fourth, Press Play, 2006, peaked atop the chart once more. Combs then formed the musical group Diddy, Dirty Money, with R&B singers Kalena Harper and Dawn Richard, to release the collaborative album Last Train to Paris, 2010, which peaked at number seven and was supported by the single, Coming Home, featuring Skylar Grey. His fifth studio album, The Love Album, Off the Grid, 2023, was met with moderate critical and commercial response, and was his first not to be released by his bad boy label imprint. Combs has won three Grammy Awards from 13 nominations, two MTV Video Music Awards, and a Guinness World Record for Most Successful Rap Producer in 1997. Outside of music, he has worked in production for other media, including MTV's reality series Making the Ban. He launched the clothing retailer Sean John in 1998, for which he won Menswear Designer of the Year by the Council of Fashion Designers of America in 2004, having previously been nominated in 2000. Combs was the brand ambassador for the vodka retailer Ciroc from 2007 to 2023, and co-founded the television network Revolt in 2013. Through his business ventures, Forbes estimated his net worth at US$1 billion in 2022. In late 2023, Combs's former girlfriend singer Cassie Ventura filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit against him for sexual assault, which was settled out of court. In the following days, three more lawsuits were filed by additional claimants, with similar allegations of misconduct ranging from 1991 to 2003. In the wake of the allegations, various companies and brands dissociated with his likeness or involvement. Combs is the subject of various lawsuits and an ongoing criminal investigation by the Department of Homeland Security in regard to the allegations. The relationship between Diddy and Cassie. Sean Diddy, Combs' ex-girlfriend Cassie, whose full name is Cassie Ventura, has responded to the federal raids of the rap mogul's homes in Los Angeles and Miami following multiple lawsuits filed against him. We will always support law enforcement when it seeks to prosecute those that have violated the law. Hopefully, this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his depraved conduct, Cassie's lawyer Douglas Wigdor said in a statement given to Today.com. Combs and Cassie split for good in 2018 after a tumultuous off and on romance that spanned a decade. Cassie was just 19 when she met the music mogul, filed a lawsuit November 16 in the US District Court in Manhattan alleging that Combs raped and abused her during their time together. The Me and You singer, 37, claimed in her lawsuit that Combs, then in his late 30s, pursued her as an up-and-coming singer signed to his music label, Bad Boy Records. The lawsuit said Combs was prone to uncontrollable rage and beat and kicked Ventura, sometimes in front of the staff and employees of Bad Boy Entertainment. Ventura, who married personal trainer Alex Fine in 2019, claimed that Combs raped her and forced her to participate in intricately staged and forced sexual encounters with male sex workers while he masturbated and filmed the encounters. She claimed Combs was able to control her after introducing her to a drug-fueled lifestyle that kept her complacent and compliant. Combs' attorney, Ben Brathman, responded to the lawsuit, telling NBC News in 
in a statement that Combs vehemently denies Ventura's allegations, calling them baseless and outrageous lies. He also said Ventura had demanded $30 million from Combs by threatening to write a damaging book about their relationship. Also in this lawsuit, this girl that was 17 at the time, she say that, you know, I guess her and Diddy was having relations and he couldn't get off. So he was complaining to her one time that, you know, he couldn't get off and for him to get off, she had to pinch his nipples real hard for him to get off. <laughs> I mean, he, yeah, man, this lawsuit is wild, man. She, 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 she should have had on white polish, fingernail polish. <laughs> no, man, we shouldn't be laughing about that, man, you know, because she is a victim. You know what I'm saying? She is a victim, man, and if this is her victim story. We got to be more, um, I think, more compassion. She was 17 years old at the time. She was fascinated by that whole sh by that whole thing, getting on a G4, G5 jet. You understand? According to the lawsuit, the individual making the accusations alleges that she was flown to Sean Diddy Combs' New York studio by the accused. Upon arrival, she asserts that she was provided with alcohol and drugs by Combs, his longtime friend and rapper Half Pierre, and another unnamed individual. Subsequently, she claims to have experienced violent acts that inflicted significant distress and confusion upon her, and it was crazy how the internet picked up the story and dug up even more dirt. The woman in her late 30s who made the accusations has backed them up with photos of herself and Combs taken in his Manhattan studio. There have now been so many accusations and allegations that it's pretty hard to believe that there was nothing going on. Do you think Diddy's time is finally up? Let me know in the comments below.